Lieutenant Colonel Paul Adams was born in Greenville, South Carolina in 1920, the youngest of 12 children. At age six, he got his first job serving as a playmate to a local store owner's son who was his age. The two became close friends, but because Paul Adams was black and his friend white, they sometimes couldn't do the same things. When the two went to town, they had to drink from separate drinking fountains. One drinking fountain was for whites only, and another one only for blacks. They also had to attend separate white only and black only high schools. The store owner's son entered flight school, but tragically died in a training accident. Paul graduated from a college in South Carolina and became a teacher at a junior college. He longed to be a pilot, but there were few black pilots in the country and none were allowed in the military. When World War II began, the Army Air Corps moved forward with a program to train the nation's first black fighter pilots. The Tuskegee Institute, a black college in southeast Alabama, was approved as a training site. Back in South Carolina, Paul Adams heard of Tuskegee and applied, but heard nothing. Adams took the exam again, passed it again, and waited some more. Again, nothing. Then his former employer, the father of his childhood friend pulled some strings. He made a phone call. A few days later, Adams received a telegram. Report to flight training school. The telegram was signed by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, President of the United States. After he finished pilot training, he flew with the 332nd Fighter Group, an African-American unit also known as the Red Tail Group. Colonel Adams' career saw nine major campaigns and he received the Commendation Medal with three oak leaf clusters. Adams took a year off from the military. Then he rejoined, beginning an Air Force career that took him, his wife Alda, and their three children eventually to Lincoln, where he was stationed at the former Lincoln Air Base. When he retired from the Air Force, Adams began his teaching career at Lincoln High. He was one of three black teachers in Lincoln Public Schools when he started teaching in 1964. He taught industrial arts at Lincoln High until 1982. He retired from teaching, but not from serving his city. Adams served in several community organizations, including as a grandpa at Elliott Elementary School. In April 2007, he received the Congressional Bronze Medal for his contribution as a guardian angel in World War II. The name Guardian Angel was a term of respect given by the white airmen who were escorted by the African-American pilots. He once told an interviewer, you must have an education and be determined to be something. Don't give up. Adams Elementary School, named after Lieutenant Colonel Paul Adams, opened August of 2008. He is an example to us all and is most deserving of having a school named for him. The school displays a bronze replica of Lieutenant Colonel Adams' Congressional Gold Medal. Books on the Tuskegee Airmen fill the school library shelves, and the school mascot is the Aviators. <laughs>